Retro Arcade Music Man and Sailor Pac-Man 256 both requested Crazy Auto. So the reason you're seeing Miss Pac-Man here, Miss Pac-Man bootleg, uh, is because Miss Pac-Man was originally Crazy Auto. Um, and you can see this marquee above. Somebody else made this marquee, and uh, I found it and kind of reworked it a little bit to make it look better. And General Computer Corporation was a group of, uh, I think, like four MIT students who took the original Pac-Man and enhanced it. They increased the speed, they added new levels, they uh, improved the enemy AI to make the game harder. And so Namco ended up finding out about this and, and uh, didn't like that. So they settled and they ended up paying the guys and saying, let us use your code what to, and what would eventually become Miss Pac-Man. I looked for a crazy auto hyperspin theme, but I couldn't find one. So I'm going to run this in the latest main. 0.251. But the way I did it was by replacing the Pac-Man bootleg ROMs with the uh, the Crazy Auto ROMs. It's it's actually it's not a real ROM dump because this game, as far as I know, was never dumped. Um, somebody just created some sort of ROM hack that will work in Mame. At first, I was trying it in Homebrew Mame, and then I couldn't even I couldn't even find a crazy auto ROM in homebrew MAME. So I was like, how the hell does this work? And then I had to do some research and find out, but yeah, you can run it in regular MAME. Here's some cabinets that some people made, three different crazy auto cabinets. So some of this artwork is online. So this is what I've used for like up there. And this bezel I found online, uh, may not run correctly. It's not even supposed to run in MAME. Um, but you'll see when this loads up, Look, Crazy Auto Project P1, and it even has a guy's Gmail address here. So obviously this isn't, and it was done in 2014. It's not, again, it's not a real ROM. It's a recreation or a or a hack. So, but um, okay. So look, Mad Dog, his nickname is Plato. Killer, his name is Darwin. Brute is Freud, and Sam is Newton. So I guess because these are MIT MIT students, they wanted to use um. I don't know, scientific geniuses. You can see Pac-Man has legs. Or Crazy Otto, that's what they call him in this. And the ghosts look different. The ghosts, they have like tentacles, so I don't know if they're supposed to be aliens. They have tentacles and feet. Um, so this... This... Uh, the file you need to run this, I'll put it. I'll put it on. I'll share it in a link in the description. Oh yeah, and the guy that requested it, retro, uh, ret retro arcade music man. I'll link his channel above, right there in the corner. Uh, he does uh, live streams of him playing arcade games, and he takes requests and shit. And he's a nice guy. Uh, so what else? Let me hit tab. Um, about MAME. Just to show you which version of MAME I'm running. Yeah, see? 0.251. So I'm not even having to use a special version of MAME. Like, I thought maybe I was going to have to use HB MAME, which is homebrew MAME, or use Misfit MAME or something, but nah. Surprisingly, it works. So you take the... It's... The ROM is uh, Pac-Man... P-A-C-M-A... Was it? No way. No, it was Miss Pac M S P A C M A B. That's the ROM file that you just overwrite your uh, existing Miss P A C M A B ROM, and then uh, you can just play that. And this is what'll this is what'll run. <laughs> So this is basically Miss Pac-Man. I don't know enough about Pac-Man to know what the differences could actually be. 
uh, between this and um, the real Miss Pac-Man. Well, as far as I know, this game was never dumped. And, uh, I don't know if anybody even has access to the original, uh, circuit board or, or PCB or whatever the hell it was running on. Oh, God. Uh, okay, come over here. Maybe I can make it. Mm, okay. All right. I am no Pac-Man or Miss Pac-Man expert, mind you. Oh, God. That was close. Come here. Oh shit, I hate that. I was uh, I was being risky there. Extra life. God damn it. And it... Uh... Alright. Is there an intermission? There is! Wow! I wonder if this was really in the, the actual Crazy Auto. Huh. Like, was that... That was their idea? To have the whole... Boy meets girl thing. Oh shit. No. Mm -hmm. Ah shit. Ah shit. Get away. Okay. Oh, I didn't mean to go left. I I don't I accidentally pressed left, I guess. I have the high score, 15,870. Alright. So if you look up Crazy Auto online, you can read you can read the history and there are there's YouTube videos about it too. God damn it, I didn't get any ghosts. Ah. Ah. Okay, all right, that was lucky. Yeah, like these, does Miss Pac-Man have these two exits? Like, I mean, it's four exits total. Is that how Miss Pac-Man is? I don't even remember. I feel like I mostly remember there being like one exit. On each side. Damn it. But I don't play Miss Pac-Man much, so don't don't ask me.
Oh, he fucking transformed. The ghosts slow down when they go through the tunnel. Damn it. Much worse that time. I almost always, well, I don't know about always, but I do better on my first attempt and then start doing worse a lot of times. Oh god, I did it again. So this bezel somebody else made, and then I improved it. Well, that's what I do a lot of times, is I find art, and then for whatever reason I don't like it, and then I make it look better. I don't make my own original art, unfortunately. Oh god. Okay, we're good. They meet again. Can I get past this stage? Oh God. Okay. stage but I haven't beaten the high score yet. Oh that was lucky. Now we've beaten the high score. Oh you fuck. No, no, no. Ah 
Ooh. I wanted to get the pretzel. 16970 Okay, we're only at 15 minutes in this video. You see Gen Con, General Computer Corporation. So again, I'll share the files so you can play this in the description. But the art, if you want the art, you have to uh, either join the channel, which costs money, or, uh, or join my Patreon. Or PayPal me, whatever. I got divorced, so I'm I'm basically I'm poor now. So then I was like, all right, I gotta start finding ways to make money. So that's what happened. Because YouTube barely pays anything. I do not recommend YouTube if you want to make money. Not that, uh, not that I get much from um, Patreon and all that shit either. It's, uh, it's very little. Oh God! Okay, all right. Surprised I survived. So while the artwork isn't art that I create originally, it's artwork that a lot of times, I'll spend a lot of time editing it and making it prettier. I'll spend a lot of time searching for just the right type of art that I want. And I'm very picky about that stuff. God damn it. Uh, I like this one because there's Miss Pac-Man on the side, you know, it's... It's, uh... A nod to what this game was to become. It's like you're in an arcade and there's a, you know, a cabinets on the side. I normally don't like those types of buzzers, but in this case, I thought it was appropriate. I prefer to see all of the game's artwork and not like some other game. Oh shit. Oh god. But the thing is with these vertical games, let me pause it for a second. With these vertical games, so a lot of times, a lot of times their artwork is very thin on the sides. So if you if you stretched it to fill out the 169 screen, it's going to look bad stretched. So doing that is a good alternative. Um cuz if I if I took this strip here and stretched it, it's going to look like shit. So what you could do is stretch it you know, so the whole thing is bigger, but then you would cut off some of this. Like what you would do is you'd want to like probably cut it off right at the top of that, that dude's tentacles and maybe cut off some of this bottom stuff and then you could stretch it, but then you're it's going to end up looking lower res and it's not going to look as good. So these vertical games can be tough with the uh, bezels sometimes. Uh, oh, oh shit! 
still didn't beat, I didn't beat the high score. Maybe, maybe I'll try again. So if anybody knows what the difference is between this and this Pac-Man, I'd be very curious to know. I mean, other than the obvious graphical differences. Like, is there an AI or gameplay difference? Oh shit, I was trying to make that corner, but I didn't do it in time. And I'm playing this with an 8-way joystick, no problem at all. I don't seem to need a 4-way joystick for these types of games. Uh, okay. Maybe in older versions of May, maybe that was a problem then, but I don't have any issue, I don't know. Oh shit! You fuckers! <laughs> Give me that strawberry! Ah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Fuck, fuck you all! Fuck you! Stop! Okay. Get the fuck away from me. Yeah! Shake on right. All right. High score. 17,400. This is my last life, though. Fuck you! No, 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 no! Fuck. 18,340. Alright. So again, I'll, uh, I'll put the link to the file you need in the description. You just... What I did was I, I made a copy of my MissPacMab.zip file. I just made a copy of it in case I want, or for some reason I wanted to go back. And uh, then I just overwrote 
the uh, existing Miss Pack MAB dot zip file in my ROM folder. And for all this art, uh, you know, I just had to name the files Miss Pack MAB. Um, like the folders that led to the files. Or this marquee, this marquee file is, is named Miss Pack MAB dot uh, png um, of course the bezel had the bezel and the fade screen have to be in a folder with that name and then inside that folder those files have different names so anyway that's it all right thanks for watching